Last night, the government responded to criticism of its approach to mental health by announcing a $2.2 billion package that focuses on prevention and early intervention. In a moment, I'll be speaking to the Minister for Mental Health and Ageing, Mark Butler. First, this report from Peter Lloyd. In Canberra tonight, the Prime Minister was talking up the virtues of Labor's plan to ramp up spending on mental health. This is the biggest mental health investment uh, that has been made in a federal budget. I'm very proud of that. The venue, a forum on mental health, attended by many of the frontline medical experts who've been lobbying the federal government hard. This is, this is uh, an issue that's reached a tipping point. There's no turning back. Under the plan, the number of headspace mental health services for young people will increase from 60 to 90 centres. And there'll be an extra 12 centres for early psychosis prevention and intervention to help thousands of young people at risk of developing mental illness. Both programs have been championed by former Australian of the Year and mental health expert Professor Patrick McGorry. We've got a long way to go. It's 14% of the, of the health budget where we're aiming for. This is a very significant step and uh, we can't do it all at once. We, we understand that. So that the key programs, the targeting that's gone into this budget is very important. Last year, John Mendoza quit as the government's mental health advisor because he said not enough money was being spent on the issue. Tonight, he's a happier man, pleased by the new focus on creating a single point of contact for services for the chronically ill, such as housing and health support. The government's also recognised that there are two generations, at least, of Australians, <coughs> pardon me, with long-term uh, mental health needs, which have really gone unmet. And it's responded to those with flexible care packages, some $340 million in last night's budget, uh, really over four years that they'll roll out. And I think that's a very big win for that group as well. But the praise is not universal. This Adelaide psychologist believes much more time and money should be focused on children and their carers. There's very good evidence that uh, the way in which uh, young, very young children are parented um, has an enormous impact on their physical and mental health for the rest of their life. Um, there's also very good evidence that intervention at that time can alter the trajectory of their development and their future outcomes. Um, so the, the, the problem is that the investment doesn't pay off uh, for many years and possibly decades. And so it's hard to get uh, politicians um, who think in much shorter term cycles usually uh, to accept the need to invest in that area. To make sure the government's initiatives on mental health have real impact on people's lives, a new mental health commission will also be set up. Its first report card is due next year. Peter Lloyd, Lateline.